name is Thomas Pepe, and I'm currently a student at Florida State University majoring in information technology. Throughout my career here, I have focused my studies on networking and information security. And with that, I've created a video to show you how to strengthen your Windows XP passwords. The first step in cracking your Windows XP passwords is to turn off your current antivirus protection. This is needed because some antivirus systems believe John the Ripper is considered a Trojan due to possible misuse of the tool. So I will go over to my toolbar and I will turn off my McAfee antivirus suite. The next step is to download and unzip both the FG Dump tool and the John the Ripper tool. And I have previously downloaded both of these tools and I have placed them in the upper left hand corner of my desktop. I have also written out the location to where you can gather these tools. After you have downloaded both the tools, you will need to extract the files. You do this by right on folder and clicking extract all. And then from here you follow the extraction with wizard directions by clicking next, next, and then eventually clicking finish. After you have unzipped both tools, you'll need to open up your command line prompt in order to run the tools. And you'll do this by clicking on start, run, typing in CMD, clicking OK. Once you open your command line prompt, you need to navigate to the FG Dump folder, and this is where you will use the FG Dump tool. And you do this by doing change directory CD desktop, this is where the folder is located, and then change directory to the FG Dump folder. Inside that, you're going to do change directory to the release folder, and this is where the tool is located. You run the tool by typing in the following fgdump.exe space minus c and this will start the dumping of your Windows password hash files. As you can see here the fgdump tool has successfully dumped the password hash files for server 127.0.0.1 and that address is just the address for your lo local system that's running Windows XP. The next step is to crack the hash file using the John the Ripper tool. The first step to cracking the hash file is to move the newly dumped file from the FG dump folder to the John the Ripper folder. You'll do this by minimizing your command line prompt, going to FG dump, going to the release folder, and copying this 127.0.0.1 patch dump file. Okay, once you copy it, you move to the John the Ripper folder, open the John the Ripper folder, open the run, and paste it within this folder. And yes, you want to replace the existing file if one exists. Okay, the last step is to move to the John the Ripper folder. And you do this by doing change directory dot dot, which makes you move backwards in the folder directories. And you want to stop at the desktop folder. From here, you want to navigate to the John the Ripper folder. And you do this by typing in John, change directory John. And then in here, doing change directory John again. And then from here, doing change directory run. And within here, you have the tool to crack the passwords. So you type in the following command John 386.exe space 127.0.0.1.pw dump, and that is the folder that contains your uh, administrative passwords or XP passwords. Once you run it, it should crack your passwords and as you can see here it cracked both of mine for the user account Steve and the user account Thomas the passwords being Giants and Cowboys
As you can see from the previous video, John the Ripper was able to crack both my passwords in under one second. This tutorial was to give you the know-how and the knowledge to create stronger passwords and to be able to crack your own passwords to test them. A typical password or strong password should be 14 to 15 characters and include a numeric character and a symbol. I want to thank you for taking the time to view my video and have a great day.